My name is Isabella de Est. I was born on May 18, 1474, in my hometown of Ferrara, Italy. Raised in the House of Est, I received a broad education as a child based on Roman history and the ancient Latin and Greek classics. Being intellectually bright, I rapidly learned to translate Latin and Greek and often discussed the classics and the affairs of state with ambassadors. Furthermore, I was personally acquainted with the painters, musicians, writers and scholars who lived in and around the court. Besides my knowledge of history and languages, I was also a talented musician and singer and was taught to play the lute by Giovanni Angelo Testagrosa. In 1480, at the age of six, I was betrothed to Gian Francesco, the heir to the Marquis of Mantua. Even though he was not very handsome, I came to admire him for his strength and bravery and his ability to be a gentleman. I spent the next few years getting to know him and prepared myself to be the Marquis of Mantua. After ten years, on February 11th, 1490, at the age of 15, I married Francesca, who had already gained his title as Marquis. During the time of my children's birth, my husband, the Captain General of United Forces, was battling with the French King Charles VIII to keep him from captivating territory in Italy. In 1509, after the Duke of Orleans became King Louis XII of France, Francesco was captured in his sleep and taken to Venice. As a result, I was made regent by the state and took command of the city's armies and successfully held off the enemy crowd. Finally, in 1512, a peace treaty was signed and Francesco was released. After returning from imprisonment, Francesco returned weak and ill and later became jealous of my power. Thus, he began to ignore me and found liability with everything that I did. Henceforth, I decided to travel to Rome. Once there, I went to the court of Pope Leo X, where I lived like a queen and was the centre of public attention. And so, after my accomplishments, I was well known to be the first lady of the world. After conflicts died down and I was well in my sixties, I returned to Mantua and made it a cultural centre. I started a school for girls and created my ducal apartments into a museum of the fine arts, which housed works of Titian and Leonardo da Vinci, as I was a patron for artwork. Nevertheless, I was not satisfied, so I continued my lifelong quest and ruled over a small part of Romagna Solalo until my death in 1539.